Okay, so I got back from the thrift store and got another iPod dock. Yes, it's on. I plugged an iPod in in advance. Because I didn't want to have to plug this thing in again. It's like the fifth take of this already. But I paid three fifty for it. And then I got something very special with it you never really see. The original sticker on it. And... I didn't plug an iPod or do anything with it yet. I just plugged it in for a few hours, a few minutes, maybe like 30 minutes or so, to see if it would smoke. And it didn't, everything appears to be holding fine, so let's test it. Copyright Mafia, this is probably gonna piss you off, but I don't care. There was one other problem with it I found is the backup battery it had used of CR2032 was dead when I got it, so I just swapped out for a spare I had from a dead computer motherboard. Oh, and I forgot to mention the model number, Dan and I. It's a IA5, and they call it the IA5 because it's an app enhanced stock, which means you could plug an iPhone in with an, the iHome app for the uh, alarm and it will act as an alarm clock just as your regular Sony Dream Machine will work essentially only a whole lot better but we're enough talk about the dock let's look at what I got with it yes I got the manuals with it the question is are these all the original manuals probably not there's probably one or two lost but look I got the friggin manuals that's all that counts let's take a look at this Reminder this thing may not charge your iPad. No duh, the thing has a frickin' obscure battery wattage. Shameless plug for iHome to sell you more iPod docks. Sticker for, for iHome. Reminder on how to put your iPod in so you don't break the 30 pin. Wink wink, nudge nudge. So you don't break on my last two I got. Link to their iHome Sleep app, and there's the original user's manual. And there's the original stickers I just put on this crappy speaker as kind of a holding place for the video. So there you go, another iPod dock. I got thrift shopping, and it seems like I'm doing this a lot lately. If they're open tomorrow, I'm picking up a CRT television from there for the NES if they still have it. This is a 13 inch and it will do what I need it to do. And that thing just put out feedback from my camera. Oh well.